Hi, Flight Simmers, Rusty Dog here, uh, and very quick video. I'm going to show you a very probable, likely fix for running um, Microsoft Flight Simulator with the new NVIDIA 497.09 drivers. There is a conflict between the two. I don't know whether everyone gets it or only some, but it causes some graphic rendering issues and mainly crashes to desktop um, without any error message. You'll also get blue patches on your terrain, blue squares. Um, now, I, one of the possible solutions was to run the game with DirectX 12. Uh, that does work, although it will probably cost you a few frames depending on your setup I suppose but I think it's I think in general it will cost you a few frames um, so that is one way of getting around it um, but there's another way if you want to run flight simulator on the latest Nvidia drivers in DirectX 11 um, well this is where the problem was created but I think we have a fix for this um, so I want you guys to run this and tell me if it working if it works for you. So far, it has been working for me. I've not had any crashes since doing this. Um, so post a comment down below. Let me know. Did it work? Did it not work? So first thing you want to do is, if you're if you have gone back onto the uh, older graphics uh, drivers, that being. 496.76 I think was the one before then what you what you're gonna um, need to do is up re-upgrade to 497.09 um, you don't necessarily have to do a clean install an express one will do then you'll have to come into Microsoft Flight Simulator and if you did set your options to DirectX 12 to get around it and you actually don't mind going back to DX11 because you prefer the better frames or maybe DX11, uh, DX12 is giving you some other issues that you didn't get in DX11 then switch it back down to DX11 apply it go back and then you'll have to quit out of um, flight sim and once you've quit out stay out don't go back in um, yet yeah, because you're going to have to do a reboot in just a moment now what you're going to have to do next is bring up your windows display settings okay so that's this now you get here via going into windows settings then going into system and then going into display and that will bring you to this screen alternatively you can click on the start button and where you could where you type you type in desk dot cpl and that will also bring you to this screen so now you have your display settings so you scroll all the way down and you get to graphics settings you click here and you probably have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling on turn it off um, and you will need to reboot your pc after turning this off it will tell you it tells you here in fact you'll need to restart your pc turn this off do a restart and that's it. Just turn this off. Go back into Flight Sim. You should already be in DirectX 11 and give it a go. Best of luck, guys. Let me know how it turns out. Hope it helps. Bye.